you have a, you hear a lot of these Me Too stories of people who have experienced uh, sexual harassment, whether they were a lobbyist, a staffer. Um, you know, people should not abuse their positions of power. You know, we are elected by the people. We should represent the people. People should feel safe uh, when they come to the Capitol or feel safe when they're meeting with a legislator or someone, even in someone of a position of authority. They should never feel uncomfortable. They should feel that they can do their job and do it best without um, being prone or worried about being harassed. Capitol. No one, no matter where you work, be it if you are in the work here in the Capitol or anywhere else in this state, should you be um, a, a victim of sexual harassment and not get uh, a, your, a justice for you? And so we're trying to address these things here with a few different bills. One of which uh, um, today, which addresses the backlog of some investigations possibly uh, that will have to occur soon. Of, uh, These bills that we put in place and this training we'll put forth, you know, you don't know what sexual harassment is and sometimes you may witness it. And do you know what to do if you witness that? Do you know how you can help that individual feel comfortable to come forward or file a complaint with the Inspector General on, against someone? You don't know until you have that information or arm of that information. Information is power, and you know, knowledge is key. And what uh, my hope is that the steps that we're taking uh, here in the Senate uh, and in the General Assembly now at least allows for people and victims uh, from the past and hopefully, you know, hopefully not too many in the future, but for victims whenever um, to say, you know what, it's okay to speak up and I should speak out because this is wrong and this is not allowed and, not, and nor should ever be tolerated.